Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Got some more questionable profile cards for you guys. This time around, we're hopefully not going to lose to that guy there. Um, it's, that'd be quite a shame. Very embarrassing if I lost to someone like that. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we can do. So this guy bans Landy. Okay, that's fine. And we have Lua and Aeola banned, so see Lilia is still on the table. With Landy banned, I'm actually more inclined to just pick the last Rider Crow here. He's pretty good source of damage with his S3. Um, I don't need as strong mitigation with Arwell with the way I play, because most of my units are pretty bulky. Uh, but now I'm kind of regretting it, because this guy's going Zeo straight out the gate. So this guy's going for a more aggressive playstyle. Good thing I didn't open up see Lilia, so I just have a completely dead pick. Uh, Sid for imprints. Okay. All right then. I see what this is. Uh, where this is going. Sid and Zeo. I feel like I should probably go for Sage Ball into something like this. DJB might be okay too, just to have the off chance of cutting if they use um, like debuff units. So let's go DJB, and we'll go Sage Ball as well. Right, they're going aggro. Now, they can definitely pivot over here. Sid could be a dead pick, but they could definitely pivot. They have three other units they can pick uh, that can help them out. Ron, very nice. Okay. Uh, Ron getting picked out means we're going to get hit by an AoE. Could Ed be good here? Ed could be okay here. Ed could be okay here. Uh, Jacko getting picked up as well. All right, Ed could be okay. Uh, he can soul burn here, I think. Because Zeo should be holding book. It's either that or we ban the Zeo. But then we have to fight the Ron. If we fight the Ron. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So his unit his units kind of die to. You know what I can do? I can do something really funny here. Uh, so we're going to do something really funny here. I'm going to pick Vildred, and then I'm going to pick uh, Ed. So let's go for this. Alright, so we're going to go RB. Last video, you guys saw me use RB into a, kind of a little aggressive team, but um, <laughs> yeah, we ended up just doing decently. Not too bad. Um, ooh, he's going to pick uh, Ida. So do I actually just ban the Ron instead? Maybe I have to ban the Ron instead, right? I think so. I think I have to ban the Ron here. I think we'll be fine. Ban the Ron. He's going to ban Sage Ball. Okay, that's fine. We got our RB through. And it is going to be a slugfest, I think. So let's go ahead and... <laughs> let's see what we can do. Right? Come on, DJB, you got this. I hope he doesn't push back my DJB. If he's able to silence and push back DJB, we're in huge trouble. If not, we're probably going to win this. Let's see who he goes for. He's going to go for Arby. He might try to push back Arby, right? So when Arby revives... Oh no, he's going to push back DJB. We don't get silenced, but we do get shoved back. Ooh, that is going to hurt quite a bit, actually. Um, very, very bad for me. He can go for... Oh, he's actually going to try to go for DJB. Interesting. All right, then. He's gonna S2. So DJB kind of useless in this match here. Unfortunately, we got pushed back by the, um, the Zeo. Couldn't resist it. And Ed should be able to counter here, though. I think he just stripped on my units. Yep. Oh, whoa! He actually managed to stun there. Jack will get the attack down. That's actually pretty useful. So if RB dies, we'll still be able to revive. Let's see what he goes for. He's gonna S3, but... Oh no, he's gonna S1. Okay. Nothing onto my uh, units there. That's okay. I am gonna try to go for... Do I just try to go for the Zeo? I think so. I think I have to just... I have to do this. S3. Oh shoot. He's gonna quit. Oh man. We didn't even get to see my RB do anything. Well, what's gonna happen is, if I ask three, Ed gets 50% combat readiness, then DJB will be able to push up the entire team because he's still alive somehow. Uh, and because he's still alive, you push up the entire team with his S3, Arby gets to go, Alakay gets to go, his entire team gets wiped out, and that is pretty much it.
So yeah, um, Cleave and aggro teams, I mean Zeo based aggro teams, like Zeo Jacko teams are very linear. You can usually see what they're going to go for. They usually pick two pairs of units, so Zeo Jacko for example is a pair that combo really well together. Um, and then they have overlapping pairs, so something like Ron and Ida that you saw there was also a really good combination. Uh, Ida and Zeo both hold book, so you can't just ban Zeo and have uh, Ron not soul burn. And Ron can always go ahead and proc the Jacko with his debuffs too. So it's uh, it's quite a dilemma fighting those types of teams. You just kind of have to have the right anti-cleave units uh, in your arsenal to deal with them. Which is the unfortunate part. This guy bans LRK and C. Lilius. I am just going to be that guy because he's putting me in the spot. Um, I'm going to go for this. If he didn't ban C. Lilius and LRK, probably would have gone for something different. But I have I really struggle against ML Landys if I um, if I don't have LRK or C. Lilius, right? You need something to contest so you don't get Strazae Lycut at the end. And you also, I really benefit from LRK's barriers and protection uh, when I'm facing these Landy teams. But this guy's going for Ahmed and Politis. Very interesting. Politis into Landy. I didn't even think about that. You can stop her CR pushing quite a bit. Um, but... Politis also good just picked with Ahmed in general, because um, normally if someone picks Ahmed, the first thing you do is counterpick it by going uh, Politis. But now what do I do? I I have no idea what to do here. Uh, let's go for Tywin, because we can. Let's go Tywin, and let us go Hand Guy, so that my opponent can't go Hand Guy. Right, we're going Tywin, just um, just for the debuffs that are going to be coming out from my opponent's side. Ooh, look at this, actually. Astromancer Elena, that's pretty cool. I think what I'll do is I'll use Ed into this team. Never mind, I don't think we're using Ed into this team. So, we are fighting these first four. How do I fight the first four units here? We can't counterattack. Arya is going to have um, counter buffs and shenanigans. What could be pretty good into all of this? I believe Infernal Kawazu might be okay. Infernal Kawazu might actually be okay here. And what else can we use to deal with this Arya? Um, could Shu be... Shu could actually be pretty good here. Yeah, not gonna lie. Shu's gonna be pretty decent here. So let's go for Shu. Because she can actually burst through a lot of... Um, a lot of things that Arya has. We could always ban the Astromancer Elena in this case, um, because she prevents us from counterattacking. Yeah, let's go for this. He's gonna go for Arby. That's really strange, but let's go for it. All right, he's gonna ban out the shoes. We still have our counters here with our Landy. Got a Tywin, got Kawazu, got Calwaric. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's see what we can do, shall we? Arby's a little weird, but maybe he has something up his sleeve, like like mine, right? <laughs> I've, been, I've been throwing Arby at everybody, now this guy's throwing Arby at me. Japanese player, so probably got some weird techie builds here. Typical of their server, they actually have really scary builds. Don't like fighting them at all. But let's see, Polit is gonna go... Uh, ooh, Arby! Okay, attack buff crit damage buff Arby. Uh, we get some Elbrus. He actually didn't do all that much, which is nice. Kwas is gonna get proc, very good. Proc the Politis, that's fine. Because hand guy's still gonna go, and we get to cleanse. Right, right after this Politis, we get to cleanse, and we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna use Kawazu to burst down this Arya. Ooh, okay. Nice little counter. But we're not- we're just not getting that much combat readiness, right? That's the main thing. Alright, let's go for the S3. He's kinda used all his skills already. Um, A Tywin. Ooh, we actually just get to stun everyone for free. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's rip it. Stun everybody for free. They lose a turn here. Boom, very nice. And Kawazu gets to go. Let's just burst this Arya's bubble. Boom! Oh, 32k health. That is insane. Uh, I'm going to go for this hit onto Ahmed. Okay, delete her, and we're going to Salvo. I sold her into Salvo, so I can finish off everybody, and then we can heal with Landy. We still have anti-crit on us, so we're still fine. And it's just RB left. He's going to go for the Hail Mary play. Soul Burn S3. Let's see what he can do. Uh, we have immunity on us, so it's fine. Ooh, that actually hit like everybody, but there you go. 
be. All right. A <laughs> Taiwan sacrificed himself for the win, but you know what? That was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, not really sure what the whole RB play was about because he didn't really have a way to get rid of my anti crit buff that was at the start of the battle. Yeah, I think I played that pretty well, right? I mean, you know, I know people are going to be like, oh, we'll use Landy, of course you're going to win. It's not guaranteed. Not guaranteed. But my opponent picked in a really weird way. I was kind of scared of his Arya, honestly. But I think the ML Kawazu, that was, that was a very satisfying detonation. Alright, this guy bans the Landy. He banned the Ron. That's good. I don't want to pick C. Lilius if Landy's banned. Because my C. Lilius is absolute trash. So let's go for LRK. <laughs> My C. Lilius is incredibly slow. Um, I can't compete at at this level. I'm basically fighting people in the top 3,000 of um, in the world. So when you're matching up against these types of players, if your C. Lilius isn't 300 plus speed, it's pretty much getting outsped by everything. I've had C. Lilius get outsped by Ahmeds, by Flitikas, um, <laughs> by like uh, units that typically would not be able to outspeed a C. Lilius if she's built properly. But I just don't have the speed gear for it. So, I, I leave the C. Lilius to my opponent to pick, nowadays. Right, but they're gonna go for C. Lilius, that's fine. What I will do is go for, um... I think what I'll do is I'll go for Hand Guy. Yeah, we'll go for Hand Guy here. Hand Guy's gonna be pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna learn my lesson from the last video, and I'm not gonna pick the Lionheart over here. It's a little too early. Uh, they could pick Lethe and a lot of other things that could just deal with her. So, at this point, I could go for Apoc Ravi. Not a bad, not a bad unit to go for here. Yeah, let's go for Apocalypse Ravi. And now we have a pretty flexible draft at this point. Um, we have one DPS carry, and he needs to find a way to deal with Apoc Ravi, so a lot of units just can't deal with her in general because they don't have enough damage to bypass her passive healing and her combat readiness pushes and all that. Spectre Tenebria is definitely one of them. But now let's see what his first four units are going to be. With this pick here, I get to fight these four units, right? And that's going to be pretty bad for him if I can counterpick all four of them with these last two. Okay, he's going to go for Alencia. That is going to be okay for me. Alencia is okay for me. The reason she's okay is because this whole team is relatively slow except for C. Lilius. And we'll be able to um, kind of debuff and control this team a little. So I think Solitaria is a fantastic pick here. So is Pirate Captain Flan. Yeah, I think those two are really great picks here. Sharoon could also be okay, but I could just ban the last pick. If my opponent picks Sharoon, it's fine. I think I'll go Solitaria. You know what, we can just go Solitaria DDR here, too. I think Solitaria DDR is also pretty decent, yeah? <laughs> let's go Solitaria Easy DDR. I know you guys really like DDR, so let's let's give him a go in RTA. Bring him back to the spotlight. He had a really good uh, showing in Guild Wars the other day. If you didn't um, watch that video, check it out. It's the one with the really uh, sick thumbnail, the ping pong match thumbnail. And you'll see what it's referencing once you watch the video. Alright, this guy's gonna go for... It doesn't matter what he goes for. I'm gonna ban the last pick here. Because my team is pretty well equipped to fight his first four. Uh, do I really care about Landy? Yeah, let's just ban the Landy, right? We can ban Landy or we can ban Spectre. I think it's better to ban the, the Landy, though. Who's he letting? He's gonna ban Solitaria, right? If he bans Solitaria, then we ban. We can ban Spectre. Yeah, we can ban Spectre. I think so. Yeah, he's banning Solitaria, so there we go. Alright. I think this is gonna be okay. He has a lot of stealth units. That's fine. Let's put a Robbie in the back there. Alright. So the reason why I went for this is because LRK's S3 should be able to break Landy out of her stealth, unless Arwolf gets a really big barrier for the team. But let's see what happens. Alright, this Seed Lilius has very little health. Um, under 14k, so probably a lot of effectiveness. You can see, debuffing everybody here. Uh, he can try to provoke. Who's he gonna provoke? It doesn't matter, because Hand Guy will be able to cleanse everything anyway. Okay, 
Okay, he's gonna go for DDR. Okay, provoking DDR is fine. I can go for an S3 here, pretty sure. There's no reason not to go for an S3. Uh, Landy is gonna get full burst, and then Alencia can strip, but that's okay. Because uh, LRK will be able to put up immunity again anyway. I just don't want DDR to be provoked. So let's go for it. Give his Landy um, her full burst. We're gonna get a nice little barrier from LRK from this. Oh, it is a very low health Landy. Look at that. Under 10k health, so basically full damage. Okay, we're gonna need to be very, very careful about this. Everyone has immunity, so it's pretty good. Um, this basically just forces the Alencia 2s3. Oh, he's gonna try to stun my LRK. Is he gonna be able to do it? Maybe. It's a 50 50 shot. Oh, he does get it. That is huge. Very, very huge. Now, what else is huge is he didn't guiding light on his landy, so breathing light, coming back yet again uh, to kind of bite the player who's using it in the butt. Alright, nice little counter, little Celestine action. Um, the, the issue here is that land. oh actually no, landy's pretty far back, no we're fine, we're fine. We should be okay. Um, let's go ahead and strip all of landy's buffs here and put the attack down on her. Please don't 15% this. Oh, she 15%ed it. Do we jinx ourselves? I don't know. Um, great. So now what? Now DDR is gonna have to try to control this Landy. Do we get the Pestilence buff now? Hmm. Ooh, no, 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 we don't. I think I just have to go for an S1. I think I just have to try to sleep this Landy here. Unfortunately, I don't have a soul burn, so it's a 75% chance, right? So let's go for it. There we go, nice. We did put her to sleep. I was very scared that she was going to be able to... If I went for the Pestilence buff, she's going to be able to full burst me again, and that's not good. We need to take care of this Landy as soon as possible. LRK should be able to uh, do this. And the only issue right now is if Alencia soul burns into a Robbie. Oh, she's going to soul burn into the LRK. That's a lot of injury damage. Don't like that. But the good thing is, Landy loses her turn, so we're gonna be okay. Oh, no guiding light still. Alright, good for us, good for us. He 15%ed me, so I think he deserves this. <laughs> yeah, if we were able to get the attack down on the Landy, I think I might have played a little bit differently. Okay, this is okay, this is fine. Uh, this can't be a counter Landy, because she is so squishy, so we're gonna just try to burst her down here. She no longer has her defense buff. Okay, see Lily is gonna go. Please don't dual attack with Landy. I mean, I should stop speaking things into existence. <laughs> what I say? <laughs> oh my god, guys. Uh, okay. I could technically slam an S3 here. I'm a little worried though. So let's just go for an S1. Landy is gonna be able to full burst me. I'm gonna be able to S3. Um, and revive later, so it's fine. Still okay. Okay, no crit there. That's actually a little interesting that there was no crit. Um, does hand guy not have his skills? Nope, one more turn. Okay. Alright. And we get to push up, so Landy is there. I'm gonna go ahead and push... I'm gonna hit this Arwell. I don't want this Arwell to keep lapping me. Alencia has a... Everyone has a speed buff, so they're going pretty fast. This is why the Sea Lily is actually zooming. But we're gonna use our DDR, and we're gonna S2. We're gonna S2 and hope for the best. If this guy attacks DDR, I hope that we are able to... Oh no, he's gonna defense break the A-Ravi. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad here. Okay, let's go for an S2. Probably should have S3 that Landy earlier. Okay, so at this point, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, let us go for some injury onto this. See if Lilius gets to go, but we should... Oh no, Landy's gonna lap us, isn't she? I hope I hope the see Lilius pops some skills. Oh no, she's gonna push back the Calric. Oh no, DDR! Wait a minute. Hang on. Not the worst. Or is it the worst? Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 buffs if I do this. 
If I go for this, I think we're still fine. So give us some protection. Yeah, he doesn't get full burst here, which is good. He'll be able to still hit the Ravi though, which kind of sucks. Oh, that, ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I think we're pretty much dead now. <laughs> I don't think we can actually do this anymore. Oh, wait a minute, he hit DDR. Oh, it's because he didn't want the Ravi to be able to, to heal. Yeah, he's gonna be able to finish off the Ravi here. Super sad, no revives coming out from us. And who's he going for? He's going for the Calric. That's actually good for us. Um, can DDR do this? I don't know. We've had some really um, sticky situations we've gotten out of. I don't know if we can actually get out of this. I should have S3'd that Landy earlier. That's for sure. If I had done that, um, I think we would have been in a much better position. Ooh, actually, Calric pushing up is pretty big. But I think Landy still laps us here. DDR is going to need to, like, counterattack <laughs> if, if they attack him. He's gonna need a counter. If he doesn't, I think we die. No? Counter? No! No counter! Very sad. Um, yeah, it was pretty much a losing battle uh, after that. I definitely misplayed there. Should have s 3 the Landy with the A-Ravi. And then if I got rid of the Landy, it might have been okay. Alright, unfortunately, no awesome DDR video today. But we'll, we'll try our best. We'll, we'll continue going. Uh, this guy's a blank picture here. Fantastic. So, let's see what they got in store for us. Okay, we got a Karina and Bellion. So, this guy's going to be cleaving or going aggro. Yep, so there goes the Zeo. Uh, do I want the Arwell here? Do I want the Arwell? Maybe. I think is probably better than um, going for something like LRK here. Or is it? Yeah, yeah it is, because um, he didn't ban Landy, so I'm going to just take Landy. The reason being, Landy adds so much RNG to a cleaver or aggro player's, um, like, things that they need to keep in mind, right? So, Ron's getting picked out. This is kind of similar to what we fought earlier. This is not the same guy, I don't think. Oh, wait, maybe it is the same guy. Elena's getting picked out. Okay, never mind. This might be the same guy. I don't recognize the... I don't recognize the profile avatar thing though it's all white um okay so what do we do we can go for djb but djb didn't really work out all too well last time we can still go sage ball sage ball still good here uh djb sage ball I still need somebody to contest is the main issue, so I think I still have to go DJB. Um, we'll still go DJB. I know last time we had like Ed as well, so we'll, we'll try that too. Yeah, let's see what he goes for. Because what can happen is... No, he's going to be able to cut me regardless, right? I don't think DJB has enough push. Okay, Tomoka. Alright, Ida. Tomoka and Ida. Very interesting. So, can I cut this guy? Can I go Ed? Ed can, Ed can work here, right? I think Ed can work here. We go Ed. If we go Ed, we have to ban Tomoka. But... I don't think we do. Oh no, he's gonna ban Sage Ball. He's still banning Sage Ball. There's no way he's letting Sage Ball through. Um, I could just ban this and RNG him. But I think I ban the Ron. He has too many souls. He's gonna soul burn. I think I banned this. Yeah, there we go. Good ban, good ban. All right. So here is the reason why that's a good ban. He has to now Zeo my Sage Ball. If he fails to push back Sage Ball or whatever, Sage Ball will cut, and then we can sleep everybody. However, if he does silence me, then DJB will get to push up with the Turnus. We will be able to cut his team, and we'll be able to push up and take the turn. So let's see what happens here. Or maybe not. We might not be able to push up all the way. Let's see what that... Um, Oh, we won't be able to cut this uh, Ron, so Ron will still be able to go. 
Mm, we might still be in trouble here. He has to get this on seed fall, though. Ooh, silenced, but no pushback. Rob's gonna go. Okay. Alright, he is gonna soul burn. So this is an issue, because now, um... Oh, nice little counter, actually. That's pretty good. Ooh, nice little salvo. This is why I banned the, uh, the Elena here. Sage Ball gets to go. We're silenced, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, see, there we go. So, <laughs> I thought... Okay, I got mixed up in terms of the passives. I thought Ida would push up when Ron does non-attack skill, and then I thought she would push up again when he AoE'd. But, no, that's that's for, like, other units, like Ciceria. So, yeah, I, I tend to get them a little bit mixed up, because I don't really play with them. Oh, but yeah, staving off those uh, these aggro players, pretty tough, pretty tough stuff. But you know what? With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more Epic Seven content. And until next time, take care.